Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we've got stage four of Bag That Badge. We're in New York for a park perimeter reverse loop and I'm not sure I'd actually raced on this one before on the reverse loop so I was really looking forward to it. Plus I was racing with Phil who you may have seen on this uh, channel before. I uh, met through Zwiften and Phil's such a good guy so I was really hopeful that one of us would be able to uh, get a pretty good position here. Now I'd actually just come back from a... Um, a weekend away, I should say. I'd not really been Zwifting too much this week since my since my victory, and um, I did actually go to a wedding, which was a ten and a half hour drive there and a ten and a half hour drive back. Which for the majority, I spent kind of just obviously sat there driving and um, you know eating or snacking, I should say, on sweets and other rubbish. So by the time I got back for this race, I was actually three or pretty much three kilograms heavier and uh, feeling very, very unfit. So um, this sort of leads me onto my point of conversation really around weight doping and um, you know, what, yeah, how bad is it on Zwift? Is it, is it in fact that bad? I mean, there was a time where I first started Zwift racing and I didn't really know the impact of not changing your weight. I mean, the very, very early races, I, I just, I don't know, I knew it said about my weight, but I didn't realize that it would, you know, if you're climbing up a hill, make a massive difference or sat on the flat. And I'm not talking about perhaps people that, you know, change it every other week or every, you know, two weeks or a month. I'm talking about people that never change their weight. So people that are, you know, have been on Zwift for years, they regularly race and yet their weight has remained exactly the same. Because to me, that kind of shows that they, they I don't know, they don't care about it being a level playing field, or I don't know, maybe they've stayed at exactly the same weight. You know, we just don't know. We're just um, hopeful that people are being very honest. Um, so I can only, you know, tell you what, what I do now. And um, I do check my weight before every single race. Um, and if there's a, obviously like a massive, difference as in I'm heavier I will definitely change it but if I'm slightly under then I, I won't bother um, I'll just kind of hop on so what was what it you think about weight doping do you think it's a big problem in Zwift um, do you think say Zwift should do more about it I um I don't know it's uh, it's an interesting one and one that's you know always going to be um, talked about because I say a lot of people just think you know this is a game and just get on with it and just have fun so you know I don't really know I think I would like it to be um you know, I'd like I'd like to think that people were honest um, and and kind of, you know, change their weight when they do get heavier or lighter. Anyway, enough about that. Put what you think in the comments. Um, it's an interesting point of conversation. But in this race, um, I was really really struggling at this point. After lap one, I was pretty much hanging on, which was a bit of a. It wasn't really a surprise because I had you know been off swifting for, you know, a short amount of time and just really overindulging. So it was at this point where. I felt that the next major hill was going to be my last in terms of, um, you know, doing anything in this race and actually staying with the main group. You know, I'm already hanging off the back here and um, I'm just I'm just trying to do my best. Um, I think maybe if I can just hang on and get over and get a little bit of rest, I might be able to kind of, I don't know, get a decent result in the sprint. As I say, my sprint's not too bad, but oh, I'm just feeling so knackered after the uh, after the drive and... Yeah, this horse, this this horse, this course is really, really hilly. Um, when I say hilly, sorry, I mean it's quite lumpy, isn't it? It's like up, up, down, up, down, up, down. So I was, um, I just find these difficult. I find New York difficult. I also find Richmond and Yorkshire difficult for the same reason. And yeah, Phil was. Uh, well, I basically messaged Phil saying, "Look, you go for the win, please, because I'm going to drop any second. And uh, Phil did a good job of encouraging me, actually, because I was ready to fall off the back here. Um, just got over this bit OK. Um, but yeah, Watts have dropped right down low. And yeah, I wanted to put these kind of races in because I'm not going to win every race. I'm not going to perform in every single race. Um, you know, life sometimes does get in the way. Phil encouraging me there. Thank you, Phil, with a come on. Um, so I put in one last little dig to try and get up this this hill here. And uh, it was one dig too many, I'm afraid. And that was it. And I'm, I know that I haven't done that often recently, fall off the back, but I just really wasn't feeling, um, I don't know, very fit. So we'll skip on here to Phil, who um, I wanted to capture the end of uh, his race because Phil has got a very decent FTP 
and um, I was rooting for him all the way through. And as I say, it's more exciting seeing Phil, how Phil got on than, uh, than me just cruising my way to the finish. So I was hopeful that Phil would just kind of sit in the pack here a little bit and uh, get a bit of draft, but he does seem to be leading everyone else, probably because he's very, very strong on the bike. And uh, he pops his sprint, it's a decent amount of what's going down there. But uh, oh, I was kind of screaming at my monitor. Um, but this is a still an excellent result for him. And uh, just going to come across the line here for sixth place, fifth place, sixth place, I think, in the end, which was an absolutely superb result for Phil. Um, really, really great result. And um, yeah, flicking back to me, I ran it on a little bit here. So um, I was just zone two in pretty, zone twoing pretty much just to the end of this one. And uh, over I come 19th position. You've seen me get dropped in a Category C race. So um, there you go. Um, so I've just popped the old um, positions up on the, on the screen now. So Phil, very good result there for him. Um, ended up in uh, sixth place. And uh, there you go. I am in 19th position. So not my best result at the end of the day, but sometimes you have to take the L's with the W's and uh, move forward because that's definitely motivated me to uh, to push on and do some training this week and to lose those three kilograms that I uh, ate and drank at the weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.